All right, everybody, thank you for joining us at this time. It's Charles Rourke joins us on the phone with more breaking news about Master Brand Cabinets Incorporated closing here locally. Charles, what can you tell us? Dick, we've been working on this story all morning, and, of course, uh, we started talking about it during the morning talk show with Ever Buchanan. Well, we had workers calling us and telling us that they'd just been let off permanently. And you're seeing video uh, there from Master Brand. Master Brand, of course, is located in the industrial park in the county. And uh, we just uh, got back there from that location. And you can see that um, there are no um, employees there working today. Uh, that, that, uh, that, that's kind of contrary to what we've been told on the press releases because they say they're going to shut the plant down on August the 10th. But uh, we couldn't find uh, hardly any employees there on site this morning. We're going to be talking more about this during our 4 o'clock show. Hopefully we'll get some of the employees to call us here on the show. You've also got some documents that uh, you've been getting from employees too, correct, Dick? Uh, yes, that's correct. And I was wanting to go over a brief, a brief part here, but um, it says, as a result of sustained downturn in the marketplace, Master Brand Cabinets has made a business decision to permanently close this Martinsville operation. Um, then it goes on to state, um, unless informed otherwise, you're expected to report to work uh, through Friday, August 10th, which would be your release date. After your release date, you will remain on the company's payroll and continue to be paid through Monday, October 1st of 2012, therein referred to as your last day of, of employment. So um, basically, the short of what we have here, and we'll be going into more details later, is um, unless informed otherwise, and that's one of the gentlemen that I spoke to, um, saying that his release date was August 3rd, which was today. He showed up, handed him some paperwork, which is uh, we now have access to, and we'll be going into in greater detail um, as the day progresses. All right, uh, we've got some uh, notification from county officials. Apparently. This really caught um, county officials blindsided. Um, they did not know a lot about this at this, at, you know, when this broke this morning. But they did talk with county officials. The county officials are wanting leaders around here to know that it had nothing to do with the workforce here. That it just was the market demand. Apparently, with the downsizing of the housing industry and so forth and construction, there's just not a lot of need for um, cabinets to be made. So, so that's the problem. Yes, and, it, and, and part of the release also says the closure impacts all office and production employees. And again, this is located at 220 Mueller Lane of Martinsville. And uh, just very unfortunate, 345 jobs. So um, hopefully, hopefully these folks will take advantage of uh, the uh, Worker Adjustment Retraining Notification Act. And um, so, you know, I, I just think it's going to be very interesting. Um, they are saying that uh, Bonnie Turner, who is the Senior Director in Human Resources, uh, will be on site the week of August 6th, or you can call her at a number provided. And um, so maybe we can get in touch with her at some point throughout the day and maybe get some details. But usually in situations like this, they're always not very cooperative, as we've seen with Ryan's. Yeah, you usually, this is, a, you, you know, we, we've, we've kind of gotten used to this. We've gotten used to this, and it's, it, um, some companies learn that when you have bad days, you, you know, it's the smartest thing to do is come public with the information. But I have to say at this point, it doesn't look like they are um, going to do that at this point. But we are um, getting more information from folks and so forth. And we'll, we get most of our information from the workers. And that will be coming up during our 4 o'clock show. We'll be going live with it this afternoon to get more information. Yes, that's correct. And also on a side note, it also brings back to mind Blockbuster. They, to my understanding, they did the same thing at Blockbuster as well. So it definitely seems to be a local trend here of just let your employees go uh, with little to no notice. Um, and, and the question that I'd like to ask some of the employees is if it wasn't for the 60-day um, uh, warn notification period, meaning that I believe employers are required to give you a 60-day notice more or less, um, I, I'm, I'm kind of curious, if it wasn't for this notification, this act that's been established, would these em, uh, employees even have received 60 days, or, or would it be like some of these other places where it's just done overnight? Well, I'm sure um, I can tell you that they, these folks are probably a fortune that they're getting 60 days. That is um, better than most, 60 days, uh, severance package, and so forth. I can say there's some uh, an employee that came out that was on the plant uh, location this morning he came out and told me that I needed to move 
So I did move off of the property, on the side of the property, to get the rest of these shots. But I did want to show the fact that it didn't appear that any workers were there on the plant today. That was uh, the reason I wanted to show that. I thought it was very important to show that it doesn't appear that um, the workers are working today. They say that August 10th is the last day. But uh, we, we would definitely like people to call us on our news line or our business line today at 656-3900 and let us know what you're hearing. At 4 o'clock, we're going to do a special on this um, and try to get more information from the workers. But we'll be working throughout the day to get more information. Uh, if you'd like to email us some, some tips and so forth, Star News Corp, that's C-O-R-P at Yahoo.com. If you've got more information, we'd definitely like to hear it. You can just send us little tips and so forth. And we will not reveal your name on the air. We promise that. We just want more information to give to the community to find out exactly what is happening here. And hopefully a master brand spokesman will come out at some point and, and talk with us. That's what we're hoping for in our continued coverage of this story. More tragic news in Marginal Henry County. 345 jobs lost in the situation. Now, we've got... Um, some breakdown and so forth we'll be talking about today of, of the administrative jobs and, and so forth. So we'll be trying to keep abreast on that. I've got a little bit that I'd like to share with you now. We understand that in the employee lineup here, we have 312 folks that are production employees, and then we have 33 administrative and management employees. That had, that's had breaks down, and uh, that's the information that I think the county received this morning on how many jobs are going to be affected here. And, uh, of course, uh, like I said, we'll have more information coming up on throughout the day here on Star News. Thank you, Dick. Thank you, Charles. All right, everybody, stay tuned. We'll be back with more news as soon as we get it for you. Don't go anywhere.